Okay, today I uh, received my Mosberry Circuits Auto Shutdown Power Supply. This is a uh, 5 amp power supply. It has two USB outlets on it. Now, I've been waiting on this power supply for a while. Um, the creator, uh, his website has been out of stock for geez, probably five, six months. Um, but I did manage to get in contact with him, and he sent me this from his very limited inventory he has right now. But he's currently working on his inventory to get it back up and uh, be able to start selling them again. I've got it kind of jerry-rigged right here so I can show you how this works. First, we'll go over how it's hooked up. I don't have a 12-volt power supply here at the house tonight. Uh, I forgot to bring it home. So I was running around trying to figure out I don't have any car batteries sitting around. So uh, I realized I have the power supply, the wall wart, for my uh, Mega Squirt, the uh, J-Stem simulator for my Mega Squirt. As you can see right down here. So it just plugs into the wall and gives you 12 volts to your Mega Squirt. Well, I just tapped into that. I have a ground and two powers. Now on the instructions, it tells you what's which. Uh, of course the black is ground. Yellow goes to a constant 12 volt, so this would be to a constant hot. And this red one goes to a switch 12 volt, so it should be like ignition on. And I've got it wired up just through here through a little temporary switch. Then uh, I've got just a USB cable and we'll flip over my dash. This is still just a prototype, so it's pretty much just hacked together right now just to get it to work. But you can zoom in here. Well, this is a uh, real-time clock module because the uh, Raspberry Pi, when you reset it and it loses power, it tends to reset itself to, I think it's 1970, and it resets the time. So what this does is it allows to keep time, keep proper time when the power's off. It doesn't lose it. And these are the uh, power and ground wires for the uh, display. And here is the in and out wires leading to the switch. Um, I believe this is the in and this is the out. The white is the out and the blue is the in. It's, uh, they use the GPIO pins 23 and 24. There you can see. So, not much to it. But we'll go ahead and flip it on. As you can see, the LED lights up and the Pi is booting up. Now this is a uh, an image that I have Tuner Studio installed on. I don't have it fully tweaked. I think it boots to Tuner Studio in like 35 seconds. It might be a little slower, I don't know. There you can see the Rupert logo. And it's automatically booting right into Tuner Studio. Um, I will be making videos on how to uh, get it to auto boot into Tuner Studio and how to tweak the uh, Raspbian operating system and Tuner Studio to load a little bit faster. And there you go, we are in Tuner Studio. Now, um, you can there's two ways you can set this up you can set it up to where you when you cut the power it instantaneously runs the shutdown script and shuts the pie down or you can go in and it's a uh, small batch file that's installed and you can tweak one setting in the batch file and you can set it to a, a delay it's registered in minutes so you could theoretically have this your pie stay on for an hour after you shut the ignition switch off which would come in handy for say if uh, you were just gonna do a quick little run somewhere and you wanted to shut the car off for a second you'd be right back out and you didn't feel like rebooting into your pie if your if your system takes a while to load okay third time first time somebody blew up my phone second time 
the uh, GoPro kicked off. So what we're going to try to do is we are going to try to flip this switch, which will cut power to the red wire, which will trigger the shutdown timer that we programmed via the bash script that should shut the display off, shut the pie off within a minute. So I'm going to try to flip the switch and hit my phone at the same time. Ready? Alrighty. Set the phone. And this is exciting video. Yeah, real exciting. It's 15 seconds. Now this, uh, I believe, I can't remember, I think it's about $34 shipped, which really isn't that much. Um, I've looked at other sources. Um, there's many ITX, which is quite a bit more expensive, but more flexible. Uh, he does make other switches that some of them use a physical switch like I have wired up. So you get on there, it's Mosberry Circuits. I'll throw the uh, link to it down in the description. 54, 6, 58, 59. So, yep, about a minute. And that is program and that is customizable. Let's see here. So, and then you want to turn it back on. Right, let's say you start the car back up. There's your power. And we are back. So, it's not earth shattering, but it is a neat little circuit. It's pretty compact. It uses a uh, 5 volt converter, 15 watt. So, I will be doing more videos. Um, on the Raspberry Pi dashboards. Uh, I'll have a link down in the description to my new website. I do plan on selling pre-configured kits. You will have to still customize and modify your dashboard because you know there's just so many cars out there. But it will come with the Raspberry Pi optimized for Tuner Studio. You will have to install your own copy of Tuner Studio but there'll be directions on how to do that. Um, Tuner Studio does have a free version. Uh, Tuner Studio MS Lite, which you can pretty much do everything with it. Uh, the registered version just allows you to tweak even more. So, um, but I'll, I'll be selling the displays, the pies, uh, pre-configured SD cards optimized uh, for boot time and some of the accessories uh, I do have a video coming I'm waiting on the hardware where I will show you how to dim the display you'll be able to dim it for nighttime because at nighttime this display is quite a bit overpowering it would be really hard to drive at night especially if you had a white background like a white gauge face or something like that it pretty much blind you but I, I've been playing around and there's there's a couple of ways to dim it down and I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty easy actually. Okay, we're go I'm going to show you how to uh, modify the uh, SS the uh, batch script for the Mosberry switch. First we need to log in. And I have directions on my uh, website in the wiki on showing you how to set up the SSH connection into the Pi so you don't have to actually sit there at the Pi and do it as long as you're on the same network. So we want to open up the script. So we'll do sudo nano slash etc slash switch dot sh. And here we are. This is the file that controls it all. And you have, really have three options. You don't want to mess with anything down here, but you want you can modify these three. The first two lets you choose which pin, which pins I should say, you want to use the switch on. So it currently uses by default pin 23 and pin 24 on the GPIU 
pin selection. Uh, you can change these if you're using uh, sensors already that are using those pins. I'm not, so we'll just leave them untouched. And the third option down here is enter the shutdown delay in minutes. So what we're going to do is you can put this to zero, like I did. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Zero. And that will instantly shut the pie down. There won't be any delay. Or you could put 60 and the pie would stay on for an hour, then shut down, however you wanted it. Uh, it's pretty simple. That's all you got to do. Um, if you wanted to, you could come down here and it gives the power off command. You could set it to reboot or whatever. I haven't tried to see if you could put it into sleep yet. So. Then control X. Yes, we want to save it. And right there, and we will do the uh, reboot command. And you see it kicked me off because it is rebooting. Okay, we uh, just I just showed you how to uh, modify the script. And if you remember in the beginning of the video, I flipped the switch and it took it a minute to turn off. And we changed it in the bash script. We changed it to zero, so it should instantly shut off the minute you flip the switch. And there it goes. So you did have a little bit of a delay, which what time it runs the script, but it's pretty much instantaneous. And I want to show you something here. I probably noticed it. This little icon here. Yours probably won't have this. That is the, if you ever see that, that is the low power warning for your pie. It means the pie the pie is not getting its full the full amperage that it should. So it's just letting you know that that it's running underpowered. And that is because I am running it off of this contraption right now, the 12 volt wall ward that I'm actually using to power my uh, Mega Squirt standalone. So and it's booting right back up so we can change that value to anything you could theoretically leave it on for however for hours probably a day I don't, I'm not sure there's actually a, a limit in the uh, coding to how long you can do it I don't know why you would but you could 